Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Nexus Moda Pro mechanical keyboard. This is going to be a pretty sweet little keyboard. Um, Nexus reached out to me and wanted to send it out to, for review. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, when Nexius uh, reached out to me about reviewing this keyboard, I've already seen a, a couple preliminary uh, photos on uh, Twitter on it, and I fell in love. White keycaps, all aluminum construction, mid steel plate, braided cable. I was like, ooh la la. Uh, so uh, they contacted me about reviewing it, and I would gladly accepted it. What do I think of it? I've been using it for the last month and a half, and I overall like it. I've been using it as my daily driver. It is a very nice keyboard. Uh, I'm coming from a Cooler Master Rapid uh, with Cherry MX Browns in it. Little blah and pretty standard. Uh, so this actually pops a little bit more. I like it a lot. Uh, I, I'd say the only caveat to this whole keyboard being that the you know construction is what it is and it's just freaking awesome. I can bludgeon somebody to death is that the only exclusion of maybe a, like a USB pass-through possibly. So maybe you can plug in like a flash drive and a mouse to it and not have to use two or three ports on the back of your computer and then reducing cable clutter. So all in all though, it's just, it's a, it's a wonderful keyboard. I, I think it's gonna appeal to the masses in, in terms of pricing, which last time I checked was around $75 on Amazon. So uh, not a huge, huge complaint. Um, and then one of the things that I had to actually uh, sacrifice when I was shopping around for my original Rapid is I had to give up my 10 key. So I had to go for a 10 keyless uh, design to save on cost. Well, for about five bucks more than what I originally paid, I can get that keycaps back again. So all in all, do I think it's a, it's a great product? Absolutely. Construction is phenomenal, like I said before. Uh, the rubber feet on the bottom is just great. Uh, it's just nice to be back in a full-size keyboard that's mechanical. Um, speaking of mechanical, it does feature kale switches, which are a Cherry MX clone. So all the same Cherry MX keycaps will work for it, but they are not Cherry MX switches. So mine is a brown variant. I found the actuation to be pretty much the same as the Cherry MX counterpart. Uh, there have been a few keys uh, like I think the Z key is a little bit different, but what I mean for the price point, I, I'm not complaining at all. It is a very good keyboard. It's going to be staying on my desk for a while here, probably until I get another keyboard for review. But uh, ultimately, I probably I, I see myself going back to it. It's that good of design. So can't recommend this keyboard enough if you're looking for a lower cost mechanical keyboard. So hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, please give me a like and subscribe. That helps me out massively. And stay tuned for future content. Out. Oh.